You're hearing about it, you're talking about it, and boy, we are all definitely feeling it. Inflation is taking a bite out of people's budgets. Kara recently talked with money expert and entrepreneur Buffy Purcell for tips on how to stay above the financial fray. Let's jump in with inflation. What are the main factors driving it right now, and what does it really even mean? Inflation is when the dollars in your wallet lose value, like they lose purchasing power. So something that you paid for last year now costs a lot more. And the main factors driving that right now are food and energy costs, as we all know. Let's talk about why this inflationary period is so unique. Post-pandemic uh, conundrums, you know, we were all locked up, we couldn't do anything, we couldn't travel, we couldn't do anything. And then when the CDC said, you can go and frolic and be human again, we went out there and we started balling, honey. And, you know, we also had <laughs> supply chain bottleneck problems. The Ukraine-Russia conflict is not helping matters at all. Oil prices are like 82% higher this year than they were last year. And then the great resignations, people are leaving their jobs and so, labor costs are rising. What should we be doing right now to help with further inflation and just to help us keep it together? Have a come to Jesus moment mm -hmm. with your okay. family. Okay. You know, we're in the South, so we know what that means. That means a meeting and you invite the children because kids and their cute faces will get you off a budget in a quick, fast, and a hurry. Everybody needs to sit down and we need to say, look, inflation is crazy right now. It costs more to do anything. And so we've got to go on a budget. And with a budget, plan in some fun also. Um, a lot of people think that a budget means no, 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 but you also plan in some fun with the budget. And I always recommend and first going through your last three months bank statements, credit card statements, and cash receipts, and categorizing your expenses into needs and wants. And in case you don't know what a need is, a need is something you need to live, <laughs> and a want is something that you desire. And those wants are the things that you can cut back on. Okay, the Federal Reserve's interest rate hikes. Okay, so for us living here in Atlanta and surrounding areas, what does that mean to us specifically, how are our finances going to be um, immediately impacted by that Fed rate hype? So yeah, back in June, the Fed raised interest rates by 75 basis points, which is huge. And they're going to do it six more times. Um, in Atlanta specifically, it costs more to buy a house. If you want to buy a house now, last year, interest rates were in the 2% range. This year, they're in the 6% range. So it costs you more to buy the same house now, which is really upsetting. And then also, if you want to buy a car, it costs more to buy a car. There was a study done recently in Atlanta that stated that any car, whether it's a used car or a new car, the average monthly payment is about $1,000 a month because of the interest rates. Wow. So if you can, put off buying a house and a car, if at all possible. Because, you know, we hear things are kind of on a curve. Uh, will it go back down? But like, is there light at the end of the tunnel? Yes, there's light okay. at the end of the tunnel. I think raising the interest rates, the, the Fed is doing the right. It hurts, but it's right. It'll get everything into perspective and we'll get back to where we're supposed to be. If you are working with a creditor, if you owe a lot of money, is it worth it to take time to negotiate with creditors or do you just suck it up and try to find some more pennies in the couch cushions? It's fine to try to work with creditors, but what I don't want you to do is mess up your credit rating. So sometimes creditors will give you, they'll say, okay, well, settle this debt for you know pennies on the dollar but then you'll end up getting a tax form and having to pay tax on that difference you'll find out that they've reported something negatively against your credit rating so you just have to be careful you know i always say don't chop your arm off for a mosquito bite mm. so if you have to keep paying them rates keep paying it until things get better um if the alternative is that you're gonna screw up your credit because we all must protect our credit all right, Buffy, thank you so much. We so appreciate you having on Atlanta and & Company and sharing your time, your advice, all of it with us. Oh, I'm so mad I miss Buffy. She is wonderful. Sound advice. And for more great financial tips, please follow her on her Instagram page and her website, justbeingbuffy.com.